fishermen for us was generations of fishermen sort of, and Holt really that's all it was and Holt was fishing a bit of farming so there was my father's fisherman and his father before him and so on and so forth well, Joe and my father uh, fished boats for years, all for other people, so we always wanted his own boat. And, uh, well, he, he got that dream, he did. Heard one and all that it was. Because years ago, my father was a young lad, um, and he'd be always talking about fishing. This man said to him one day, they were on a horse and cart going down the back of the hill, and he says, Joe, will you get your boat someday? He said, because I'll tell you why. He says, the fans used to have boats in Baldoyle before the whole harbour was even built. She was bought out of Cornwall and uh, my father, uh, my uncle Barney and my cousin Nicholas went over to bring her back. And the first time I seen her then was when she came into Holt. She was built in 1947 in uh, Fraserborough. Originally as a heron drifter. There were several comments about what, what's that man bringing that heap of junk into the harbour for. But it duly turned around, he had a, like a new pin, fair play to him. But um, she was used for diving, that's how she was so rough. They brought her over anyway, we got her up on the lift, and uh, the shipwright had a look at her bottom and he says, Jeez, Joe, you did good work to get home in her. He says, There's not one nail in that boat's bottom. All the nails, the fastens and all that have corroded because you usually you only get 20 or 30 years out of the nails in a boat's bottom. He said, No wonder she was leaking on the way over. <laughs> that wasn't the planks, you can kick them and they'd be loose. So anyway, when the boat came, she was, I don't know, seven or eight months ashore. They were fixing her up and putting everything right. He was delighted. My father too, at the same time, uh, he nearly would like to have a boat in a half broken down condition so he could fix her up. I think he nearly enjoyed fixing the boats up as much as he did just the fishing. He's a great man for the paint. And the diesel oil and the timber to keep it right. He thoroughly enjoyed uh, fixing that boat up, so he did. He did a good job too. He had it for about 15 or 16 years. And then uh, and near the end, fishing got poor and crews got scarce and things changed and she just wasn't viable for them anymore, so she had to be sold. Yeah, Joe looked after the boat like a baby, and um, almost too much so sometimes. <laughs> and I'd say to him, I'd get mad at him, I'd say, Jesus, this boat will be here when you're gone. I says, will you stop with the paint and the diesel oil? He used to uh, have a little um, spray going and he'd spray the diesel oil where you couldn't get the paint, because diesel oil is very good for uh, timber, especially oak. It makes it go hard, it was hard like a rock, so it's actually better than paint. I'd be giving out to him, but sure, he was enjoying what he was doing. So it's not quite me giving out to him. Tell the ball to be here when he's long gone. I used to like talking about the old times. It's a very good subject. But as I say, I won't say he looked at it objectively, if you know what I mean. It was always through uh, rose tinted glasses. But sure, I didn't mind or whatever. He enjoyed telling the stories. and. You could see the romantic side of the job. That's a fella's wouldn't, it's just it's just a job as such. It's a way of life as much as a job, do you know what I mean? I mean, it can be quite hard financially. I mean, Jesus, I think it was as poor as church mice, really, even though there was plenty of fish, but you never got well paid for it. Occasionally, you get good times, but not always. It's even the same today. I 
Although when I look down at the boats now, I just can't for the life of me. You don't feel the store in your heart for them. I don't anyway, it's probably silly, but I don't. You can't say, oh look, there's a lovely vessel. Well, I can't anyway. I like more the, the older style of boats. I just like big feckin' butter boxes. As my father used to say, <laughs> look at that bloody butter box. They're just big hunks of metal with big powerful engines in them to push them along. And uh, they're just basically a walk horse, that's all. There's not much beauty in them. And you know the way you said your dad <coughs> kind of would look at things through rose tinted? Mm. Do you? Yeah, unfortunately, yes. 